evening and welcome and happy 2014, wait no, 2014, 2016, what year is it? It's, uh, oh yes, 2018, I knew it had a, I knew it was divisible by four because it was going to be uh, a winter, no it's not divisible by four, divisible by two but it's offset by, you know what I mean, right, it's 2018, right, yes, yes it is, it is, okay, um, However, I am I'm having uh, I was just going to show you what I was messing around with. Uh, let me just uh, actually do something here. Uh, I I've been trying to debug something, but there appears to be some problem with Kerbal RPC. Let me just uh, save this. Uh, resume saved. And yes, how is everybody's New Year's resolutions? Have Has everybody managed to keep their New Year's resolution? Or are you all failures at this point already? Just kidding. You can be a failure if you like. It's not a problem. Uh, yes, 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 yes. And uh, I will point out no Suicide Forest today because uh, that would just be apparently bad mojo. So we're not going to be doing that. I will occasionally be talking about nuclear weapons though because I tend to that is... Mm. Yeah, I was messing around with Kerbal RPC, and I've, I've uh, always just like trying to do a really simple thing, and you can't actually see any of this because, uh, yeah, it doesn't do that. So never mind. But but I was I was messing around, and I think there's a problem with the Python implementation or whatever, and I'm not getting uh, data back. But this is oh yeah, wait a second. Uh, let's start the server, see if it'll connect. Uh uh uh. Yes. Okay. Why does the game do this? It put the volume in the wrong place. It's so... Uh, okay. Uh, so it's just hovering there, like, doing its thing. Look at that. See? You know, I I'm not doing anything. Hands here. So, yeah, I, I don't know. It appears to be a bug. When I'm trying to get the velocity, it gives me, like, an empty vector back. Or it gives me an empty vertical speed. The only way... Uh, what I am getting is the altitude. The altitude's fine, and uh, I'm able to use, of course, data from one tick to the next to figure out my velocity because of that. But realistically, if you're wanting to teach some flight control programming, then you probably want to use Kerbal RPC, right? Because then you can use third-party languages, and you can use something with a sensible syntax rather than something like Kerbal OS. Uh, I don't know why the thing wasn't working. So there, uh, that's it. Fuel is out, so it now deploys the parachute, but my test altitude was too low, so it kind of barely makes it back. Here we come, with my dinky little asteroid. I'm just trying to keep it exactly where it needs to go. Grab it! Excellent! Okay, now I have an asteroid. Okay, so I'm gonna slow myself down. Because I wanna... We're gonna descend pretty quickly here. I hope I have enough thrust to manage that. My delta V is like 4 kilometers per second, so actually that's more than enough to reliably drop this where it needs to be. The hard part is going to be whether I run out of, uh, you know, whether I, I burn up or something. Okay. Going to need to use the, the thrust. Looking good here. Nothing's heating up too much. Of course, that means we're about to explode any minute now, right? Okay, gotta slow down a bit. Okay. Okay, now we're falling. Now, what are we aiming for here? <laughs> so, actually, I should aim... So, let's do this. Let's aim north.
Oh, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way. I got spun around like a record baby. Right round, right round. There's K2 and stop. Okay, so now we're coming down over K2. And I can't see anything. I should have probably waited until I had some more light. Okay, and I need to actually go south a bit. Okay, look, we dropped it. Where, where is it? Yes, yes, this is what I want to do. This is what I wanted to see. Yes, we have the Rock of Ages. Woohoo! We have a Kerbal Avalanche. <laughs> this is what I wanted to do. <laughs> I wonder how fast these the impact uh, strength of this stuff. I think this is... Oh, it's still going to go. I wonder how far it's going to roll. Anyone want to bet? Do you think it'll like keep going in this direction? Oh, wrong. Ah, ah, I moved away from the screen. Okay. Come on. That's right. You want to get over that little hump and then you want to keep rolling down into the glassy, grassy plains. Okay. Now we're over this. We should continue to roll down. It's kind of beautiful. I, I think, I, I love the fact that I managed to get it on top of Q2, <laughs> K2. Oh yeah, that's right. Payload was a rolling stone. Wherever it landed was its home. And when it rolled, all he left us was a wreckage on the top of the mountain. Ah. Yeah, Kerbal Mountains, uh, they have very thin surface layers, and then the bedrock is invisible. Well, the challenge was to drop a rock on top of K2. That was really what the challenge was. Ah, uh, and that's where we end up. There's a whole lot of probing going on. That's right. Be careful. What is it? The game is glitchy, yes. Don't go that way. It's dangerous to go by yourself. I like the fact that this runs. It's almost like a running person. <laughs> I'm just gonna hold attitude. Drop the gear up. Okay. So I'm gonna go out to sea a little and then come back around. Okay, that's pretty good. We get some thrust going on here. It's a Triskel of Explodey. SpaceX should do this with their... I think SpaceX could do this with the boosters that they're retiring. They could build, like, a giant bowling alley. And, you know, Steve Jurvetson or whatever could roll giant space boulders and try to knock them over. Okay, I need less thrust here. Less thrust. Okay, let's see how many I can knock down. I got a seven! Did not get the strike! So let's see how close I can get this. What about that shark you made to migrate from Lathe to Kerbin's Oceans that one time? I, I did build a flying shark, but it didn't it wasn't able to land correctly, if you remember. It kinda burned up. I should make a Stranda Beast? Maybe. Does the score still remain 7 pins on frame 2 or reset? I think this is a reset. This is a different bowler. And you know the thing that I'm missing here is that I should have this uh, here. So I should be able to detach this at the appropriate time. We're still overshooting. Okay, now we need to do this. Uh, actually, now I need to do this. And now we are going this way, so... Now I'm overshooting. Still looking good. Ugh. 
Okay, you know what? Uh, I need this button. Okay, I kind of overshot a bit, but that's fine. Okay. We're still doing fine here, though. We're kind of in the ballpark. Hey, concentration! Intensifying! Okay, totally missed it. Totally missed this thing. How's my fuel level doing? Okay, crap, crap! <laughs> this is hilarious. I'm going totally the wrong way. Let's, let's do this. One last burn. Let's just drop this thing. Oh, it totally misses. Oh well. <laughs> I, was, I thought I had this thing on target, but man, it is hard. Oh crap! Oh man, I'm so close! If I hadn't done that burn, I would have actually hit it. Technically, I knocked down seven off them. <laughs> yes. <laughs> doing is staring at the nav ball, right? The nav ball is where all the details are. Anything else is but a distraction to this quest. Okay, looking good, looking good. A little lower, a little higher, a little lower. Yes! Woohoo! Actual legitimate space bowling! Now let's land this sucker, just to show that I do have control over this thing. Because I get about 1500 meters per second of delta V left, and I should be able to land this. 300 meters... 10 meters per second, 15, 13, 12. Hey, Hans shot him first is coming in with a very important message that says, not only Hans shot first, obviously, but, uh... Okay, well there, nice soft landing with only a couple of engines. What is up with this lighting? This is totally stock. I have no idea what's causing that, but let us take a look at... Look! It was a legitimate ball drop! Yeah, Astro Bocci. Of course, the real way we should be doing this is trying to, to do, like, the ring toss thing where I was shooting, like, a single ring and trying to hit it. I, I think this is... Okay, this is really freaking me out, and I think I have to stop. <laughs> 